What if you never had to create product names, descriptions, or even tags ever again? Here's an automation that takes an image from Google Drive, lets AI create everything for you, and then uploads it straight into Shopify. Let me show you how it all works. And so here's my Google Drive here on the left. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a image. And so here's the image that I want to upload as a product image. And this image is a shoe. So I'm just going to open it here so that you guys can have a look at it. And here it is. Here is the shoe that I want to upload straight into Shopify. And so now what will happen is that this over here gets sent to Shopify. So if I go to Shopify here automatically and I refresh, let's see what happens. And there it is the product has been successfully loaded from my Google Drive into Shopify. As you can see, here's the image, and then it's called Brooks Launch Velocity Swift. So that's what AI created this product name to be. Look at how amazing that is. It also has a description which was created, and if I scroll all the way down, here are some information regarding the product, and let me show you guys also the tags. Here are the tags, white, technical, streamlined, performance. Here are the tags that AI created. This is such an amazing automation. Hi, my name is Peter from Connex Digital. We are an automation agency that specializes in streamlining companies, workflows and entire operations. If you're interested in working with us, please be sure to book a free discovery call with us. Without further ado, let me show you how you can build this awesome automation. All right, so first things first, the digital automation platform that we'll be using is make.com and we'll be using five modules in order to fulfill this automation. The first module will be a Google Drive module. The second module will be again a Google Drive module followed by Anthropic Claude tools as well as a Shopify module. So let's look at the first module. The first module is a watch files in a folder Google Drive module. And essentially what this is for is that it watches all the files that get uploaded into a particular folder. In this instance, I actually created a folder which is called images to Shopify. So that means that every single image that appears within this folder will then be detected. And then from there, it's going to go into the next module. And so I'm just going to save here and we're going to look at the next module. The next module is a download a file module from Google Drive. And so essentially why are we putting this in place is because we want to download the file that is coming from the previous module. Once we download that file, it will then be ready for conversion and it will be ready for AI to actually see what kind of file it is. So that's why we are using this particular module. And so all you need to do is just map the file ID that you're getting from the previous module and then you're good to go. And so from there, what you need to do is that you just save and then we go into the next module. So this module is Anthropic Claude, creating a prompt module. As you can see with this module, we are using model Claude Sonnet 3.5 new. And there we just put 2000 as max tokens and then there's two particular things that you need to do in this particular module. You need to give it a prompt. And the second thing is you also need to map the file that you're getting from the previous module. And so essentially the first thing is we give it a prompt. I'm not gonna go into detail regarding this prompt, but as you can see, this module is creating three things. It's creating a product name, it's creating a product description, and it's also creating tags for that particular product. And so this is a prompt that we are using. And then second of all, what we are doing is that we are also ensuring that we are mapping the file that we're getting from the previous module. And so AI now will be able to analyze this particular file and then be able to create a product name, a product description, and also tags for this particular product. And so once you're done with that, then you click on save. And then in this module, it's the tools module set a variable module. And so what we're doing here is that we want to split the product name, the product description, as well as the tags, because what's going to happen is that once AI runs, it's going to give us one output and one result. And so this allows us to actually split that output into three parts so that it can be ready to be populated into the next Shopify module. And so that's why this module is in place. And so you just click on save. And then the last module is create a product module. And essentially 
everything that is done is now going to be populated into the Shopify create a product module, the product name, the product description, as well as the tags of that particular product. Everything will go and be mapped into this module. And once this module runs, then it's going to create a product within Shopify almost automatically. And this is how you can create this amazing integration and automation. Oh, and before I forget, this particular example shows one product being uploaded to the Shopify store. But if you're looking for 10 products or 100 products or even thousands of products to be uploaded into your Shopify store, then we can help. All you need to do is book a free discovery call with us and we'll get the ball rolling. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to like, share and also subscribe to our channel so that we can give you more valuable content. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.